I think it's ready. Hi guys! <laughs> Today we're gonna introduce this kimchi ramen called kimchi sabalmyeon. This contains kimchi, one of the traditional fermented car cabbage dish. First, we're gonna open this up. I'm gonna open this. Up until this line, we're gonna do that. And then have this packet. I'm gonna rip it open. <laughs> pour it in there. And then we're gonna boil the water and then pour this in here. So give me one second. Once the water is all boiled, we're gonna pour this in here. But the most important part is anyone knows who eats or uses cup noodle. It's important for you to pour water up until this line. Right about here. And then we're gonna use a spoon to cover this up. <laughs> so we're gonna wait for three minutes. And then while we're wait waiting this noodle to be done, I'm gonna show you this uh, a side dish called kotjori. It's a type of kimchi, but normally, as I explained this earlier, kimchi is fermented. It, it takes a long time for the kimchi to be ready. This one, kotjori, we will call it as fresh kimchi. Almost done. So I'm gonna open this up and then mix the soup, sauce, warm water. I think it's ready. I'm gonna take a, a bite. Mm. Because it's a kimchi, it gives a little sour and it gives a little spicy kick into it. But it's not too bad as long as you're familiar with the kimchi taste. I'm gonna have um, a sip of this soup. Mmm. This is definitely a kimchi cup noodle. It gives a, a strong kimchi flavor. If you're already, I think you're gonna love this cup noodle. If you had a kimchi before and then open to try different kimchi related uh, foods. With the kotori that I told you about earlier, with the fresh kimchi with a fermented flavored cup noodle, I'm gonna try this with that. Very delicious. Very tasty. One thing I forgot to mention about this kotori, we have poured a sesame oil over it. With the sesame oil, with the fresh kimchi on top of this kimchi flavored noodles, it goes really well. Uh, it gives a new type of flavor into it. Oh, I like it. Besides kotori, I wanted to introduce a new type of side dish with you guys. It's called nakjijeok. Um, it is, I googled this, it's octopus minor. Basically, we season this with a sweet Korean paste, gochujang, with um, garlic and some sesame seeds. You can see um, a garlic, octopus minor nakji. It gives a little flavor of a, a spiciness because the chili flakes, gochu garu, but I think it's gonna go well with this kimchi ramen. Let's have a bite. Mm. Unlike gochari, this gives a, a, a seafood flavor with the two spiciness that combine together. It goes really well. Try this um, nakjijeo. If you see this in a Korean market, just try it out. You might like it, especially if you eat this with a, a warm white rice, which I'll show you a little bit later. Many of you guys know or have seen this cooked white rice. You just put it in a microwave for a minute and a half and then the rice is ready. So I just microwave this. I'm gonna eat this with ramen and some of the side dishes that I told you about. Mm. 
Yum. Mm. I'm gonna do um, white rice with uh, nakjeja. I'll show you. Today I introduced a few of the side dishes with uh, kimchi sabaimyeon today. Um, I got off work late today and I just wanted to have a, a quick dinner. Normally we would eat um, cup noodles for a quick dinner sometimes, for a quick lunch. Um, we'll come back to you next time with a different variation of the noodles. This company makes other noodles called yukkejang sabaimyeon. We'll feature that together in the next time. Bye guys!